So coughing is really interesting. Coughing, um, you know what it is. It's <laughs> um, and what's interesting about coughing is really that it's not breathing. So what breathing really is, is a, a pattern generated by cells in the brainstem. You have these cells that together produce a rhythm, and that rhythm drives rhythmic muscles in your, rhythmic movement in the muscles of your chest, in and out, we call that breathing. Um, all coughing is, is a different pattern of activity produced by the brainstem to produce a different effect, you know? The purpose of breathing is to get air in and out of the lungs for the purpose of respiration. The purpose of cough is just to get something in the airway that shouldn't be there out of the airway. What's particularly cool about that is that breathing is the most, arguably the most important thing the brain does. If you stop breathing for a few minutes, you die. So it's really interesting then when the circumstances arise that mean the brain stem, without your involvement really, can decide to change the pattern of activity produced in the respiratory muscles that's life essential to do something else. My, my primary interest in cough is really about brain stem processing, how the brain stem decides to stop making a breathing pattern and to start making a cough pattern. Um, but that's got some real clinical relevance in addition to being a, a fundamental issue of neuroscience, I think. Um, so cough, interestingly, in the West is the number one reason why people will go to their doctors. And um, there are conditions like chronic cough or cough variant asthma, COPD is associated with cough. And if you have a chronic cough, that is, I mean, it, it sounds almost silly, but it's, it's debilitating. You can't sleep, you can't go to the movies. There are a lot of things you can't do. So there are real clinical reasons to get in about this question and hopefully to develop simple pharmaceuticals or simple treatments that mean that people with these conditions um, don't suffer. Essentially coming into work and I know I need a new piece of apparatus so I have to make that. So I come in and solder and stick things together, plastic and electrodes and tubes and that's awesome. So I've been at the Floor Institute for, for three now um, coming to the end of my first postdoctoral position. Um, it's been great. I really hope it continues. That is, as with everything in science, uh, dependent on future funding. For the future. Thanks.